Hey everyone, a much requested feature has dropped in Microsoft Teams recently, the ability to replace your background. Now that is much more important these days with everyone on lockdown under the COVID-19 pandemic. So, you know, you can hide things that you don't want people to see in your normal uh, home environment. So that's great. Right now, you can replace uh, your background with pre-selected images that come with Microsoft Teams. However, I've found a way to work around this. Don't know whether it's supported or not, but I'm gonna show you how you can actually upload and use your own custom images. Okay, so for the purpose of this demo, I've just done a meet now. So here I am in my meeting. I now have this option under more actions to show background effects. So I'm gonna click on that. So all of these images at the top here that you see, these are all the native built-in ones. You'll also see there's no option right now uh, in this interface to add your own. However, these three down here, I have actually added my own and I'll show you how I've done that. Now bear in mind, this example is from Windows, potentially possible on other operating systems, although I'm not sure, I haven't tested that myself. But what I've done is I have browsed to this location here. So on my C drive, users, this would be your username if you were looking for the same path, app data, roaming, Microsoft Teams, backgrounds. And then within that folder, backgrounds, you'll see all of these images here. Um, and, and these get downloaded anytime I click on one of these and preview it, okay? So they get downloaded from Teams. These ones here are me playing about, so we can delete those. But you'll see, for example, if I click on this one, which I haven't before, we go back here, it's now downloaded or essentially cached it, right? But what I want to do is I want to add my own custom one. So I go into the uploads folder, okay? And I can just drop in any kind of image that I want to show in Teams. Um, I've had a bit of a play with it, and you can see here I've got some .png files, I've also got some JPGs. Um, I've tried different image sizes. For example, this one here isn't 1080p, it's a little bit smaller. This one is, uh, and this one is as well. So, so different image sizes do work. I've had a bit of a play around with that. Ideally, you probably want 1920 by 1080, okay? Because that's what the Microsoft Teams images are. So if you were to open one of these in an image editor, you'll see that that's 1920 by 1080. Grab your images, pop them in this folder, uh, and then next you'll need to probably drop out of this meeting. Okay, and jump back in again. And then when you go and look this time, you should actually see your custom images. Um, mine are already there, but you'll see I've got these three here, right? So I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna go apply and turn on video, okay? And you'll see me in my other camera over here. Here I go. Um, and there I have my custom background. So who knows if this is supported? Um, we are going to natively get this capability built into the client, okay? So we'll obviously have some sort of upload button here that will, I guess, essentially do the same thing and place those images in your local folder. Uh, but if you wanna have a play with this, in the meantime, while you're waiting for that custom images or custom background image replacement to drop, uh, go for it and let me know your success or failure. Thanks for watching, thanks for watching.